okay in this video I'm going to show you how you might encounter some fractions problems um, in maybe a test situation okay so here's my problem here are some playing cards what fraction are red okay so what fraction are red is my question how am I going to do that well, the first thing I need to do is I need to think about my equal groups okay and I need to put my cards into equal groups okay so I'm going to start by thinking right I'm going to put them in groups of two okay so I've got a group of two cards there group of two cards there okay right have I got equal groups so I've got two 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 okay so thinking about how many groups okay how many equal groups have I got here well I've got one group two group three group four group five group six group so I've got six parts remember our denominator tells us how many parts we've got okay and then I've got two parts of those six that are red cards okay so two of those parts are red okay and then the opposite of that the four parts would be blue that yeah, blue, black. Um, so you've got that, and that two and that four would add to make that six. Okay, so that's one way I could split my cards into equal groups. What I could also do, I could also split these cards into groups of four. Okay, so if I had a group of four here, and I had a group of four there, and I've got a group of four in the middle. Okay, they're all equal. I've got four here, four here, and four here. Okay, and one of those groups all of the cards are red okay so I've got three groups of four okay three groups okay and one of those groups contains all red cards if it contained some black they wouldn't be equal groups okay so you've got them there because they wouldn't be all the same types of cards but I've got one group of my three that's red and two groups that are black okay so you see seeing there we've got equal groups okay and this again, two plus one is going to equal our three as a whole. So that's one way you might see fractions in a test paper. The other way is I'm going to swap my red cards for black cards. So I've still got the same amount. Okay. But you might get a question like um, Bill has 12 playing cards. It will often show you the picture just like I've got them at the bottom here. Uh, he takes one third of them Thinking about our word problem, our key bits of information are that he has 12 playing cards. Okay, he takes one third of them. Okay, how many are left? Okay, so what we're really thinking is 12 is our amount. Okay, he's taken one third of 12, and by rewriting it like this, okay, it's much more familiar to us. We're thinking one third of 12. You might be able to do it with your division. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it here. So our denominator tells us how many equal groups we need. Okay, we need three equal groups. Just gonna draw those there. I'm gonna split and think, right, I've got a group here. Forget those red ones. I've got a group here and I've got a group here. Right, there's my three equal groups. They've all got four in them. Okay, so he's taken one third of them. So I can get rid of one third, okay, or one of those groups. And think, how many cards have I got left of my 12? Well, one third was that four. How many have I got left? My last two groups, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so what's left? Okay, one third was four, but how many are left is going to be eight. Okay, equals eight, because we've taken that one third away, okay, and we're left with that last two thirds, which would be two lots of our four, which are eight. So there's two different ways you might see them in a test paper and we'll have a look at some test papers a little bit later on in the week.